Good morning. Today is Saturday, November, not November, Lord have mercy. Today is Saturday, December 2nd, 2023, approximately 8.15 a.m. in the morning. And the weather is horrible. It's pouring down rain, but hey, we needed it. But uh, anyway, it was brought to my attention that well, if you've been watching my channel for a minute, I'm the type of person, you, you know by now, I'm the type of person that believes in accountability. Holding yourself accountable for your actions and the uh, condition that your life is in, you're responsible for it. That's the type of person I am. That's what I believe. I believe that you are responsible for your actions. You are responsible for how your life is. It's because of the decision that you make. Nobody else is to blame. It's nobody's fault but yours. With that being said, I also hold those same standards to my, my people. In my black community. Our situation, the condition that our community is in, we can no longer, now if it was the 40s and the 50s, we probably can blame the government or white people. This is not the 40 or 50. This is 2023. We are a long way from being able to blame white people for our problems in our community. I've been preaching that for a minute now, and anybody that follow my channel know that, right? Well, as y'all know, there's a group of people in my community that don't like that. We call them niggas. They don't like me point out that it's our responsibility to get our communities right. So, it was brought to my attention by the niggas that I'm just trying to make white people happy with my content. I'm just trying to make white people feel safe and comfortable. I'm just trying to impress white people. <laughs> That's what the niggas say. Instead of listening to the message and realizing, damn, he telling the truth. No, they can't, they can't bring themselves to do that. Instead, I'm trying to make white people happy by saying black people need to hold themselves accountable. We are responsible for the conditions of our lives and our neighborhoods. We are responsible for voting for Democrats black or white a lot of us are under the misconception that voting for the black guy I make it better for our community and we find out the hard way like in Chicago and other places Detroit even the black guy screw you over when he's a democrat he still ain't gonna benefit the community he's gonna benefit himself with those liberal policies or whatever and they go to prison just like the white guy. How ironic. But no, when I say something about that, when I call out, I'm trying to make the white people happy. That's what you niggas come up with in my comment section. You just trying to make the white people happy. You just trying to make the white people feel comfortable. You trying to impress the white people. Like, what the hell is that going to do for me? I work for myself, boy. What the hell I got to impress white people for? I'm just telling you niggas the truth. And I, I, I should have known what I was dealing with, what I opened myself up to. I get all kind of threats, hate uh, comments, hateful. They going to do this to me. They threatening me. They coming to see me. They going to come do something to me. And I'm just going to lay down. Oh, don't hit me. But anyway, I'm just to the white people. I just want y'all to know I want y'all to be happy. I'm trying to impress y'all. Are y'all impressed? First of all, I want to know, have I been impressing the white, my white viewers? Am I impressing y'all? Are y'all impressed? Are y'all happy? Do I make y'all feel safe and comfortable with the black peoples? <laughs> well, I didn't hear it all, man. Just cause I'm telling you clowns the truth, that's a white people thing. That's what white people do. 
white people hold themselves accountable, but black people ain't supposed to do that. Hold on. So let me get this straight. A black man doing what he's supposed to do, taking care of his family, believing in doing the right thing, respecting authority, abiding by the law, obeying the law, going to work on time, paying his bills, respecting other people, that's acting white. That's trying to impress white people. That's trying to be like white people. That's a white person thing. That's not a human being thing. Just Cause that's what I suggest that people do. Black people, white people, Chinese people, don't matter. I suggest that people go to work, pay their bills, provide for their families, take care of their kids. You no know, stuff like that. You know what we used to call growing up doing the right thing. So doing the right thing is a white thing. Doing the doing the that rhymes. Doing the right thing is a white thing, according to niggas. So me suggesting that black people do the right thing is me trying to impress white people. That what y'all get out of my message. Why y'all watching my channel? I don't get it. There's a lot of channels on YouTube that I used to watch that I don't like. So you know what I do? I don't watch them. I don't go in the, in the comments calling them out their names and whatever and just that, that, blah, blah. Yo, you need to stop, don't you stupid. I don't, what? I'm a grown man. I got a little boy I'm trying to raise into a man. What it look like for his father to be on the internet beefing with grown men because I don't like their videos. I, I got a boy I'm trying to raise into a man. My boy I'll probably looking at him. Hold on, hold on. And I'm trying to raise this boy into a man. What it look like for his dad to be on the internet? With some dude way out of town, he on I don't even know. Beefing with him, telling him I'm finna come see about him. I'ma beat him up, cause I don't like the content of his video. What kind of man am I? How am I raising? My, what am I raising my boy to be? Cause that's what I'm dealing with. People like that, grown men with gray beard. Somebody I dye my beard. I do what I want to do with my beard. My beard. It's a real beard. It ain't, it ain't fake. If I got some grades and I want a dime, so what? You got, I'm, I'm seeing your grades and you still out on here acting like a little boy. Little kids beefing with grown men you don't know cause of content he making on a YouTube channel. Make it make sense. So doing the right thing to niggas is trying to be white. Cause that's what I that's what I preach. Just doing the right thing. Respecting people. Ain't got nothing to do with race, color, creed, religion, none of that. Just respect people, man. Do the right thing. Do right by your family. Do right by your neighbors. Do right by your country. How is that a white thing? How is that me trying to impress white people? How is that me trying to be white? When did that become a white thing? Where do you niggas come from? Y'all were created in a lab. I'm convinced. Niggas was created in a lab. They did not, they were not born from a woman. Ain't no way. Ain't no way a human being had a nigga. For y'all, for, for y'all to think that way, that doing the right thing is somehow me trying to be white and press white people, make white people happy, make white people comfortable. Like white people need me to make them comfortable. Like white people need Big Ward to make them feel safe. But I know some white people, some good old boys, better down here where I'm from, will fire your ass up. Talk about you finna fuck with them. They don't need nobody to make them feel safe. It's some good old, come on down here, like, it's, like Jason Aldean said, try that in a small town. Come on down here to where I'm from. Talk about you finna fuck with one of these white boys, thinking they scared. And they need somebody to make them feel safe. Come on, fuck with one of them. They need Big Ward to make them feel safe. Like they don't already feel safe. Like they ain't protecting and defending themselves. Come on down here and get surprised. You're going to be shocked. <laughs> These white guys, they're going to shock you. You coming out here thinking they scared and need somebody like me to make them feel safe. Bring your ass on down south then. Try that in a small town. See how that work out for you. And a white, these white folks ain't running around here need somebody... Needing a black man to make them feel safe and protected. Who I supposed to be? 
I'm trying to protect my damn self from you losers. I'm trying to protect my family, my son, from you losers threatening my life. Cause of content I'm making on YouTube. I ain't hurt, I ain't did nothing to nobody. Y'all just proving my point of how ignorant you are. And that we are in trouble in the black community because we got people like you running around here can't understand the message that I'm bringing. You can't get it. It can't register on your brain. The nigga brain can't accept truth. So, but I'm going to keep doing them doing though. I ain't worried about nothing, nobody. My, one of my videos going to be, do not worry. Because I'm human, so you're never conquer worrying. You still, no, no matter how spiritually grounded you are, no matter how much blah, 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 or whatever you do, you still going to worry from time to time. But I don't worry much. And I'm a, I got a video coming about how not to worry, do not worry. What's the point and benefit of worry? It don't change things. So I'm letting anybody that's threatening me, what they're going to do to me, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about leaving this planet, leaving this earth. As long as I left a mark before I leave here, as long as I did what I'm supposed to do before I leave here, we all got to go. So I ain't, I ain't you're not going to get out of here alive. So I ain't tripping off your threats or whatever. When, when God says it's time for me to go, I'm going. It's the many people try to take me out before that, you know, they didn't, they didn't, you see I'm still here. I ain't gonna tell you where they are, but I'm still here. I done been shot, stabbed, all that. I'm still here. The people that done it, I ain't, I don't, I ain't got nothing to say about them. So, anybody making threats to me, you, you really, you judge me on the YouTube video, you really don't know me for real. You, you, you threatening somebody you really don't know. Y'all judging people off a of YouTube video. I might be a serial killer, you don't even know it. You don't, you don't you don't know what I might be on the verge of snapping from what I got going on in my personal life that I ain't telling y'all about. You don't even know it. You're on the internet playing threatening somebody. You don't know how far they are from the deep end. You don't know how close they are to snapping while you on here threatening people. You don't know you don't really know what these people got going on in their life. Quit fucking with people. It might not turn out well for you when you be picking at people. You don't know, leave people alone. Mind your business. You don't know what people are going through. I can't believe it. Looking at the news and the world we're living in, is people out here still picking on people, still bullying people, trying to bully. I ain't learned the lesson from the other people that's six feet deep from doing that same thing, picking on people, bullying people. And the person getting bullied couldn't take no more and lit their ass up. Y'all out here taking life for a joke, man. A game like it's all game. You talking about you gonna beat somebody up? You gonna you? You don't know what people going through, man. And they mind while you threatening them. That person might already be on the edge, ready to go. And you and you were just what they needed to take them on over the edge. They come find you and your whole family while you making threats on the internet by the video, thinking it's a game. Anyway, to the white people. That watching my videos, now y'all know why I'm doing what I'm doing. In case you didn't already know, now you know why I do what I do. I want y'all to feel safe. I want to, I'm trying to impress y'all. I want y'all to feel comfortable. Cause I know, obviously, before y'all met me, before y'all start watching my videos, y'all run around here scared and, 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 oh God, what are we gonna do? Oh, that's Big Ward. We're safe. He's gonna protect the white race. He makes me feel so comfortable. That white, that black guy. That black guy, Big Ward. You know, on, on the internet, yeah, Bob, Big Ward. He's for the white guys. He makes us feel safe and protected. Watch Big Ward the genius if you wanna feel protected, white people. <laughs> Dumb niggas, bye.